Here's a third. I'm finding a garage in life along with my wife Naomi. And we have got a new bar for you. So I decided to let you be the one to do the honors, the unboxing. Go ahead, pull that off there. All right, so this is the 15 kilogram women's Olympic pink camo bar from Crandall Fitness. It is available in multiple colors. It comes in purple, but we selected, and by we I mean she, selected pink camo. It does have the option for chrome sleeves, but we selected black. And this bar, it's a lot thinner because this is a women's bar. So it's gonna be a lot thinner in diameter. It's got a 25 millimeter handle. And because it's 15 kilograms, it's about 33 pounds. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter, which is something to take into account when you're training. This bar though has a 1,000 pound capacity. And so what are your initial impressions of this bar now that we've got it out? It's solid. I will definitely say that. I'll know more um, as I use it today, especially within my workout. It's definitely not cutting into my hand, but the knurling is definitely where I can feel that it, I can grip into it and I don't feel like it's going to um, slip out. One thing that I'm looking at is the spin. It's got four sets of needle bearings on each side for a total of eight. And so it spins very, very freely. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be important, especially when you're doing lifts like any kind of Olympic style lift mm -hmm. or anything for like a CrossFit style training protocol, because this is a, a CrossFit slash weightlifting bar, not necessarily a power bar. Mm -hmm. One thing that concerns me is there is no center knurl. Right here between my fingers is where the center is. So you see it's a lot harder to see that because it kind of blends in to where the knurling is. You kind of just have to go by feel. So I know you're planning on squatting today. That's something to keep an eye on as far as keeping the bar balanced when you're squatting. But like anything else, you probably just get used to it. You just start just knowing based on where your hands are, um, where you are and how you're centered. And also there are ring marks, which are difficult to see also because of the camel. This is a Cerakote bar, but I think that you can, you can definitely feel the differences. You just have to kind of pay attention a little bit. But the proof's in the pudding. There's no point in us just staring at this bar and wondering how it performs. Instead, you already had a workout plan anyway. Yes. So I'm gonna finish my workout and you're gonna go ahead and at the same time, you're gonna work out, test this bar out. Yep. All right, be back in a little bit. So we're about to get Naomi's first impressions of this bar. Now you've had a chance to check it out. But first, if this is your first time on our channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, that's going to help us get to 20,000 subscribers. We are so close and we need the support from all of you guys. It's free. It helps us out. And we really, really appreciate all the support. All right. So Naomi, you had a chance to work out with this bar. Just tell me what are your overall first impressions? Like? I like, I like it. Um, I feel secure. 
you know, some bars, you know, sometimes with the weight or even just the way you feel, it, it feels like it can slide, it doesn't always feel comfortable. This one I feel very comfortable, I feel very secure. Regardless of the weight that's on there, I don't feel like it's gonna go ahead and slide off. Um, that's gonna make me feel unbalanced um, or anything like that. Okay, so you were able to use this for an exercise that's not really one of your favorites, and that's the front squat. Sometimes front squats are uncomfortable because of the diameter of the bar because you have to try to get yourself in position. With this thinner diameter bar, how did it feel to you? It was easier to get into position. Still hate it. <laughs> the, the, the bar is not going to make me love it. But I felt more confident in the move with this bar. You didn't feel like it was going to tip forward on you. Exactly. Okay. Um, even with counter weight on there, it still doesn't feel like it's going to roll out of my hand. I feel I have decent sized hands for a woman, but apparently my hands are kind of small. Using a bar to do front squats is not always comfortable or easy. And this, I don't have the issue. So, the fact that it didn't have a center nerve, we talked about that before. You actually had to reset when you first went ahead and got into it. How big a problem was that for you? Um, not really. It could have been um, operator error, really, based off of how I had the bar lined up and the J-hooks. But once I can kind of feel, and what I've done is just kind of put my fingers, feel where it's smooth, and then as soon as I can feel the gnarling, I'm able to then make sure that my pinky fingers are in, and then that way I know I'm centered. There's two sets of rings. Yeah. On here, so you put your fingers on the ring, and then you just kind of gauge off of that. Yeah. Because there's no center nerve, did you feel like the bar slid from side to side during the lift, though? No. Okay. All right. So that's a that's a good thing. Um, one thing about the fact that this bar is thinner is it can sometimes, with a thinner bar, as the weight goes up, it can kind of dig into your torso a little bit more mm -hmm. because the weight isn't spread out as much. You didn't go up, like you didn't do like one rep maxes or anything like that today, but how did the bar feel on your back? It feels comfortable. I know for, you know for guys and for some women, they want that digging feeling. I, I don't and didn't have that with this. Okay. But it still felt like it was secure in the, in the shelf when nice. I was doing squats. One thing that I noticed that we actually didn't notice when we first were unboxing the bar is the sleeves are ripped. And that means that the plates don't slide as easy, so you don't necessarily have to put on collars. It sounds to me like that's something that would help, like when you're pressed for time and you're trying to get you know, your workout done. That's just one less thing to have to put on the bar, so I think that that's a definite plus. Mm -hmm. One thing that we talked about before you got started though is it's a 33 pound bar. So that means the math is different. Now imagine if you're using kilo plates and trying to do the math for that, plus the fact that the bar is 33 pounds. How big a difference was that for you as you tried to add weight? Or did you just say, I'm just going to add the same weight in terms of how many plates that mm -hmm. I normally would, and we'll just, it is what it is. Just with my warm-up sets, I just let the bar be and then add 10 pounds. And so instead of being 45, it was 43. Um, but then as I really started getting into it, especially my, um, into like my front squats and whatnot, then um, actually you gave me the tip of adding the five and um, two fives and then also adding two the two and a half, and a half. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that way it would make the bar like 45 and then I'm back to my regular math right because right. um, you know easy math is the yeah. best math so in this um, case you were doing 48 the bar would be 48 pounds because mm -hmm. it's 33 so you added basically another 15 pounds yeah okay cool so, uh, First, the
so now you've had a chance to try this out with a little bit of incline bench. You didn't really go heavy because of basically some issues with the rack. Uh, the rack's a little bit smaller than our old rack, so we're having some issues with like certain exercises. But we did get a chance to test out the bar for bench pressing. And the number one question I have is, how did the bar feel in your hand? I love the way it felt. Again, it doesn't matter whether it's in a, in a squat, standing position, or on the bench, laying down, fit perfectly in my hand. Because I believe of the coloration and how this all blends in together, it looked like you were having issues with finding your hand spacing. So let's talk about that a little bit. What was the, what was the biggest issue that you were having? I'm trying to find a knurling, I guess, where the, or the notch. Or oh, the rings? The rings. Okay. And so I would start here where I know there wasn't, and then kind of move, I was like, okay, now I know that's where the, the knurling is. And so I kind of slid my hand a little bit. Just Almost find like where the rings, I'm, find the rings. Find, find the, the rings. rings. Okay. It's like, okay, found one ring. All right. And I'm focusing on the other. And then when, as soon as I find it, okay, then I can make sure it's lined up and then be able to lift. Okay. I mean, that's not something that a center knurling would really help with mm -hmm. because the center knurling isn't where you bench. But it does mean that these rings kind of blend in a little bit too much to make it easy for you to find your hand spacing. Mm -hmm. I guess after you've used the bar for a while though, you'll just kind of know where your hands need to go. Mm -hmm. But again, that's something to just keep an eye out for if you guys are looking uh, at this bar specifically. Mm -hmm. But um, definitely looking forward to doing more workouts with this, um, especially with you know cross training to supplement with my cycling and with, with weight training. So uh, I'm, I'm impressed so far. All right, so this is a thumbs up right now. Thumbs, thumbs up right now. All right, so if you guys want to check this bar for yourselves, you want to go ahead and grab it from their website. We're going to put the link to get this bar from Crandall Fitness in the description for this video. It's also popping up over my head right now. And we're going to put it as one of the end screen elements at the end of this video so you guys can check it out. Once again, this is the Crandall Fitness Olympic uh, Women's Bar in pink Cerakote. Pink Camel Sarah Coat, all right? This is a 15 kilogram bar, and uh, we think that they knocked it out of the park. Thanks for watching. Here's another video we think you'll like too. Check it out.